Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Wolf Warrior's Morning Motivation Meditation. My name is Benjamin Duvenek, I'm your host, and today we're talking about the power of a plan. So the biggest lie in the biggest lie around plans, okay? So the biggest lie around plans is that we are not to we are not to think about tomorrow. We're to think about today and we're to think about, you know, just things in part, not holistically, okay? Because God's will direct my steps. If I just, you know, ask God, if I just believe God, then he'll direct all my steps and I have to think about virtually nothing. And I'll, so I want to clear up some, some misconception around that. So first of all, that's not true. Second of all, you're not better off that way. Um, and there's a lot of biblical scripture in, in Proverbs that will that will sh that ultimately I could share with you around that. But I want to make this very simple, um, and I, I only got some a few points to make for you. Okay, so uh, and this is going to there's going to be three things. Uh, just uh, bashing that lie that ultimately isn't true, uh, unveiling what is true, and then ultimately giving you an action step to take so that you can overcome the challenge of creating plans. Okay, awesome. So the power of a plan, uh, Bible, so often people, the misconception is that, you know, the Bible says, you know, the heart is wicked amongst all things and things like this. But ultimately, like, even if you look at the Bible, it says uh, many are the plans of a man, but God directs his steps. Many are the plans of a man. Oh, it must be wicked. God will direct my steps. Okay. But I want to, I want to bring us back to two. So there is that piece. There's an idea there, right? And that's true to some extent. However, there's another piece to this story. It says in Jeremiah 20, uh, 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and to give you hope in a future. Well, wait, okay, so God's got plans for me. And I seem to have some plans for me. Who's pl so God will direct my steps and I don't, I, that's it. No, that's not it. You have the capacity to get with God and understand his plans for your life. So there's a biblical process to do that, okay? So I wanna just encourage you that guess what? There's some excitement to be happening here. A hope, like we talked about yesterday, in our morning motivation video about, about, um, about fear and stuff like that, but ultimately um, in motivation and where it comes from, it comes from the hope, you know, the hope of glory, you know, the Christ in you, the hope of glory. So, and then because of the joy that was set before Christ. So now, what is that joy set before Christ? Well, can you imagine that it's plans to give you hope in a future? Plans, hope in a future. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and to give you hope in a future. Something to look forward to. There's something that God's got for me and I can attune myself to that. Believe it, it's true. And now I wanna, so, now that we're at this point, we understand that there's a difference between man's plans, yes, and God's plans, yes, and God will direct the steps, yes. So imagine this. Imagine you as a man have many plans, all right, and maybe they're not the right plans. And ultimately, you get with God and you get his plan, right? Best thing to do is get his plan as best you can. And as a man, you're probably going to screw it up a little bit. <laughs> So God will direct your steps so you can be, you can be, you can trust the Lord that he will direct your st steps using the Holy Spirit, which is really cool. So we don't have to be afraid of our plans and you don't have to be, you don't have to, okay? Because what is ultimately, um, why am I bringing this up? Because the reality is that, this is just going to be a fourth point for free, that the reality is that when you don't have plans, you suffer, okay? You don't have plans and I have to have to emphasize that. You suffer because imagine you go throughout your day, um, and I took a note of this because I thought it was really good. Um, this is why you worry, because in your subconscious, in and throughout the day, you have thoughts about these areas of life, these different areas of life, because you haven't holistically you know, sought out these plans, if you will, God's plan. Uh, but because you haven't gained control, meaning uh, because you haven't, you, you know instinctively how important it is to give time and attention to these things that you're thinking about, but ultimately you're likely to forget and you don't trust yourself, so you don't trust others simply because you have not gotten with God and, and made some plans and, and ultimately discovered, unveiled some plans. Does that make sense? 
because he was a plan. Imagine I had, you wake up in the morning and the night before you'd written down the five things that you needed to do that day. But imagine you wake up in the morning, you have no idea what you needed to do that day. And you're like, well, what's the point of getting up? I just turn off my alarm. No problem, right? Well, maybe you got to go to work. Okay. So there's a plan and now I got to go to work. So there's a, oh, there's a motivation. Now it might be not that strong because <laughs> you might not enjoy it, but you still are motivated to get up, press, press the alarm clock off and get it moving. See, without a plan, you perish means suffer. Okay. Suffer. The Bible says, uh, he, uh, people perish because of lack of vision. My people perish because of lack of vision. So why is that? So vision are plans, okay, are God's plans. Okay, I want to understand, I want to help you understand that. So you don't have to suffer. So perish literally translates to the word to, to suffer, meaning to suffer, okay? So I just want to share with you that. So if you understand this, you can understand that, you know, the, the biggest lie is that you should have no plans and that you can't know God's plans. You can know God's plans. If you get with God and you, and he, you ultimately come, with him, come to him in spirit and truth, saying, I really want to know this thing. I really want to do this. And, you know, holistically speaking, because he's always speaking to you. Holy Spirit's telling you what to do right now about your current situation. Now, most people aren't attuned to this. So, Harvard and Stanford did studies around this, and they found that 95% of people don't have, don't have what they call goals, okay? That means actively written down, written down things for the future, the things that they want to accomplish for the future and steps on how to get there. And then, 70, but however, you're 77% more likely to, if you have goals and you are held accountable on a weekly basis to actually accomplish them, meaning you're going to be successful, and it's going to work. Pretty cool. So that's God's doing. See? So let's talk about a plan and how a biblical plan, a good biblical plan looks. Okay? Let's scroll to Habakkuk 2, 2. And where it says, um, when the Lord replied, it says, the Lord, this was the Lord's answer. Um, it, says, it says, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation waits an appointed time. It speaks of the end. It speaks of the end, and it will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. So it's gonna take some perseverance. It's gonna take you to take some action. It's gonna take faith. It's gonna take some trust in God. It's gonna take allowing him to direct your steps. But there's a plan here. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. See, the enemy is puffed up. His desires are not upright, but the righteous person will live by his faithfulness. The Christ in you, the hope of glory, the joy set before you is your vision, his plans for your life. Okay. So the biggest lie is that there is no way, there is no way, you know, so the 95% of you have not written down goals. Okay. Goals are his vision for your life unveiled. If you're in Christ and you're doing this from a biblical standpoint, really God's standpoint with a relationship with Christ, okay? So that's what hence Wolf Warriors is all about and where I just got so discouraged for so long and I was like sick of it. I was like, we got to change this. This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Um, just ridiculous. It, it's so simple. It's so simple, so underutilized and so definitely not taught. Henceforth, 95% of people do not have them have goals. They have 77% less likely to reach them because it's all up here. And you know, and the Bible also says, and there was another point I was going to make is that this is a, another big reason why people don't focus on plans, right? Because they say they, they have, there's this ver there's some verses that talk about when God talks about, um, do not worry about tomorrow, taking your tunic or do this or that. Don't worry about tomorrow <laughs> for today has its own worries, Right? So don't worry about tomorrow. So, but I want to encourage you and I want to share with you just the insight that around that, that you worried about anything was never part of the plan, okay? So you're not to worry about anything, but God knew that you'd be worried about something and today has enough worries that you don't have to worry about tomorrow, but that has nothing to do with plans, okay? That doesn't mean don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about, don't think, don't plan. 
You don't know if you have 10 breaths left or a million, okay? You don't know. I'm sure we can scientifically figure this out based upon the, you know, the average person's life and expectancy, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what I'm saying? You don't know when you will. You, you know, ultimately, uh, only the Father knows when you will ultimately be called to heaven. But right now, be, in, be zealous about your future because that is his plan for your life. That is his plan, that you be just immersed in him in that thing. Does that make sense? Because that's the mission, and that's where you're going to be best fulfilled. You're going to receive all the desires of your heart. You're going to get everything that you, and I, and dare I say, everything that you've ever wanted, because the desires of your heart are truly what every, every person wants. Feel, you know, affirmed, loved, fulfilled, you know, blessed. All these different things, you know, chosen, included, all these various things. So, and I, so I notice I didn't say car. I didn't say big 10, you know, uh, 10, uh, 10 story house, 10 story house. Anybody have a 10 story house? I don't know. But does that make sense? I'm not saying those things are bad. I don't think so bad at all. It's fine. It is what it is. It's simply just what it is. There is no judgment around the thing itself. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense. We brought some clarity around this. I want to encourage you. So the next step you want to take is to create plans. Create plans. Get with God and create some plans. If you're looking for support around that, Wolf Warriors is here to help you to do that. Okay? It's very simple. Lay it out very simply so you're not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it. You're going to get in, 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 in essentially attunement and alignment in spirit and in truth of where you stand, holistically speaking. Okay? And you're going to be able to uh, you're going to be able to isolate, well, isolate, but you're going to be able to um, articulate what those plans are that God's calling you to right now. Make sense? And that you're, ex so he's literally got plans for you right now, okay? He sees where you're at. He knows where you're at. He knows what your challenges are. He knows where you're dumb. <laughs> like, so he'll be able to say, oh, okay, that's cool. I'll work. He always, he's always meeting you right where you're at. As long as you're honest in spirit and in truth. So we're going to have some more, um, can't wait to come to you tomorrow about um, just our, our, next, uh, our next topic. But, um, but I hope this has been a blessing for you today. And I hope it encourages you that you have everything that it takes. You have the Christ, the, uh, the, Christ, the hope of glory inside of you. And you have uh, the joy set before you if you so choose to attune your mind to it. Okay? And then you can take actions that support those things and ultimately receive them in Jesus' name. Amen? All right. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day. And I look forward to um, getting with you guys again soon.